Rohtang Pass is awesome and reaching here is an equally amazing experience. Today we are going to answer all your questions about this high mountain pass. Where it's located, why it's so famous, how to reach here from Manali, how is the drive and most importantly how to get the permit to reach here. And after watching this video, you will get a fair idea of this place and then can plan your trip accordingly. So just buckle up and sit tight as we are going on a drive from Manali to Rotang Pass via the Atul Tunnel. Rotang Pass is located at a height of around 4000 meters in the Peer Panjar range of mountains. It is 55 kilometers from Manali and connects Kullu Valley with the neighboring Lahul and Spiti. There are two ways to reach Rohtang Pass from Manali. First, you reach Palchan village. From Palchan, you can either take the Palchan Koti Gulaba route or the Palchan Solang Valley Atal Tunnel Khoksar route. Both routes are scenic and offer amazing views of the high mountains. Yes, you need a permit to visit Rohtang Pass. The local administration has put a cap on the number of vehicles that can visit the Rohtang Pass following orders from the National Green Tribunal. Only 60 petrol vehicles and 40 diesel vehicles are allowed to go to Rohtang Pass daily. You can get the permit online by paying a nominal fee of Rs 500 plus congestion charges. You need to have valid identity proof, valid pollution check certificate while applying online. Only those vehicles are eligible whose age is not more than 10 years. The permit is valid for one day only. I'm sharing the link in the description. past, when there were no roads, it was a trader's route. Rotang Pass literally means pile of dead bodies. Numerous people had died while crossing this pass, mostly from Lahul Spiti side to Kullu, hence the name. The best time to visit this pass is September, October and till mid-November. The traffic at the time is less and the probability of snowfall high. You can also visit in May and June but there is a great rush at the time and traffic can be a real hassle here. Also you may not get the permit to visit Rotan easily. Rotang Pass is closed for traffic every year towards the end of November when heavy snowfall makes it dangerous to travel on this road and is open for traffic around mid-April or after that depending upon how bad the snow is. The Rotang Road also remains closed on each Tuesday of the week for road repair work.
mostly remains windy at the Rotang top and the temperature here can drop suddenly even during summer months. Rotang Pass is famous because of the majestic views and the snowfall. It can snow here even in summer. The mist in monsoon is mesmerizing here and the view from the top on a clear day is amazing to say the least. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Hope you enjoyed the ride and got all your answers too. If you like this video, then do consider subscribing. You can also visit our website, thewildphone.com, for more travel guides and stories. Time to go back now. Catch you next time. And until then, keep traveling and keep exploring.